So let's talk about two ways to do this problem. Um, this is a problem from the book that had a special way of doing doing the problem where they drew a picture. So we're going to do that too. I'm going to explain how they did it. Hopefully, I didn't even look at it. That way, I can um, figure it out in real time. So you'll see that it's just requires a little bit of thought. I'm just looking to see if I have different color markers. Um, but one thing that they didn't talk about is that you can set up a system of linear equations. I think they mentioned it, but they, I'm pretty sure they didn't do it. Um, so what you do is you assign a variable and make a key. So my key is going to look like this. I'm going to let x equal the cost of an apple. and y be the cost of a cherry. Okay, so we're told that four apples and three cherries cost 340. That means if you take the cost of an apple and multiply it by four, that's how much money you're paying for apples because you have four of them. And if you take the cost of a cherry and multiply it by three, that's how much you're paying for the cherries because you have three of them. And then total, you know, see this and means plus normally in math. If you add what the apples cost together with the cherries, you get 340. So in other words, we have 4x plus 3y equals 340. And you really could just put 3.4, but I'll write 340. Also, it says that three apples and two cherries cost 250. Okay, so we have what's called the system of linear equations here. Now there's a couple ways to do linear equations, solve a linear equation. What I'm going to do is called elimination. What I'm going to, what I'm going to try to do is get either the x the coefficient, the number in front of the x's, to be the exact opposite of each other. Like let's say this, if this was negative, or if this was positive 6, make that negative 6. Or I'm going to try to get these the opposite. I think it's easier to get these the opposite of each other. So what I'm going to do is make the top one 6 and the bottom one negative 6. Well what I have to do to make the top one 6 is multiply everything by 2. And to make this negative 6, I have to multiply everything by negative 3. So the top one, I'll call it equation 1. And the bottom one, equation 2. The top one, the top equation becomes 8x plus 6. It'd be good if I could write a 6. y equals 680. Make sure you multiply the 2 to everything, even that. Then the bottom equation becomes negative 9x plus negative 6y equals negative 750. Now what you do when you have um, one of the coefficients, um, one of the variables that has opposite coefficients, you add the two equations together. You always add. So 8 plus negative 9 is negative 1. I'll write the 1 there. Usually we don't. These go away. You don't have to even write 0, but you can if you want. You can write plus 0, but I'm not going to. And then this is going to be negative 750 plus positive 680 would be negative 0.70. Okay, so it's negative x equals negative 0.7. So you divide each side by negative 1 to get rid of the negative, you get x equals 0 0.70. What does that mean? Well, we said x was the cost of an apple. So, an apple costs 70 cents. Okay. Well, 
We don't know how much a cherry costs, unfortunately. Well, we can figure that out. I'm going to go to this equation here. The smaller one. We said that three apples and two cherries cost 250. So if we know the apple costs 70 cents now, we can figure out how much a cherry costs. Hopefully it's not that much. So you get 2i, subtract 2.1 from each side, and you divide by 2, and you get, I'll write it up here, you get y equals 0 0.20, so that means the cherry cost 20 cents. So you should check your answer, make sure it works in both equations. We plug in 70 and 20, we get 250. We plug in 70 and 20, we get 340. So it works. So that's how you could solve the system of linear equations mathematically. Now, in the book, they do it differently. And I'm going to try to, I'm not going to look at the book. I know what they did. They drew a picture. Remember, Polly is four steps, right? But if you're faced with a question like this and don't know how to do it, well, you read it, you read the question, read it until you understand it. I understood this the first time I read it. Most people will. I know I have that many apples and that many cherries and it costs that much. But when I have this many apples and that many cherries, it costs this much. So I get that. I know I bought apples and cherries at the store before. Never just bought one cherry though. I guess they cost 20 cents. So, let's say you don't know how to solve a system of linear equations like I just did. You can still do this problem. Okay, you can draw a picture, making sure I have different colored pens. I wish I had a red one. I think I do somewhere, but. Um, remember, you read, you read the problem, then you devise a plan, carry out the plan, then check. Make sure you're, whatever you did, make sure it actually works. And if it didn't work, go back and have another plan. So, we have four apples. I'm going to draw a picture. Maybe I'm going to look for my red marker. Hold on. I know I have one. I have a backpack that has so many different pockets. So. You know what? I think I think I left my red marker here one day and somebody took it. Oh well, I have an orange one. I guess we have orange apples. So we have four apples. I guess that's all right because. Apples and cherries are both red, so I guess I don't really need to. What I'll do for the cherries, I'll make them blue, and I'll make them smaller. Because that makes sense, because they're smaller. Okay, so I have four apples and three cherries, and they cost 340 Okay. Well, so this whole thing, my drawing is going to be really weird, so be prepared. This whole thing costs 340. Well, I know something else. I know, so this is my plan. Let me uh, follow the four steps. My plan is to draw a picture, try to use the picture to um, help me figure out how much an apple and a cherry costs. So that, that, that's my plan. My plan is just to draw a picture. There's nothing else that goes with the plan. Now, carrying out the plan, I have to like think about, is it going to help me? Does drawing a picture help? Well, as I told you before, I read the problem and I understand it. I know that four apples and three cherries cost 340. That's not the only thing in the problem, though. I did read the problem, so I know there's other information. 
I know that three apples and two cherries cost 250. So let me draw another box around three apples and two cherries. I know this stuff in here costs $250. Okay, make sense? Pause the video, rewind it if you have to. Make sure um, what I'm doing makes sense. Now, since Polly's four steps involve you reading the problem and you devising a plan, you're, what you do might be different. If you know how to do a system of linear equations like I just did, that might be your plan. And you would probably be done with the problem by now. But there, besides that, what I did before and what I'm doing now, there's probably other ways to solve this problem. There's probably another way to draw a picture and solve the problem even. So if what I'm doing doesn't make sense, well, I would watch this video until it did. But if it doesn't and you still know how to figure out the problem, then you're fine. Well, let's see what's going on now. If this... If the stuff in this box costs 250 and the whole thing costs 340, that must mean this and this cost 90 cents together. So I'm going to make a box around these. This stuff costs 90 cents. Okay. Well, let's see if I've gotten any further closer to the answer. Do I know anything else? Well, no, that's pretty much all I know. So, how can I use this information? Just because this cost, just because all this cost 90, I don't know how much that costs yet, or how much that costs yet. Just because this cost 250 doesn't mean I know how much this and this cost. Let me see if there's something that gives me a hint. What I really want to do is make sure my picture, my picture will tell me how much, like, either an apple or a cherry cost. Then you can figure out what the other one costs based on that. Like if I knew how much a cherry costed right now, like if I knew that if I knew a cherry costed 30 cents, I would know that the apple cost 60 cents. So let's see if there's anything else in the uh, problem that will help us. Let's see. What would help me? Well, Let's see, I know an apple, oh, so now I know that an apple and a cherry cost 90 cents. Oh, see, I'm about to figure it out. I know an apple and a cherry cost 90 cents. That means this apple and cherry cost 90 cents. Does that make sense? It should. You know an apple and a cherry cost 90 cents? That means any time you have an apple and a cherry, it costs 90 cents. So this costs 90 cents. That means this costs 90 cents. Well, so these two things together cost a dollar 80. But everything inside this box here costs 250. Well, this, 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 and this cost 180. That means this cost must cost 70 cents. Okay? So now we know how much an apple costs. It's 70 cents. Well, if everything in this box costs 90 cents, then this must cost 20 cents. So we have an apple cost 70 and a cherry cost 20. Now I don't need to check my answer because if, if you were just um, doing this right from the the beginning you would, but remember I just solved it using a system of linear equations. So I already know that the answer is 70 and 20. Other than, otherwise you would need to check it, or you should check it. You would just check it by making sure that when you add it up 70, 70, 70, 70, 20, 20, 20, it would equal 340. And the same with 70, 70, 70, 20, 20 should equal 250, and it does. So. That's um, one way you can solve, or two ways really, you can solve a system of linear equations.